too, is getting a little bit more conservative with their defense, sitting back in zone. They're not attacking as much. Now you see Syracuse going back to their bread and butter, the trap, the trap option, drop back pass, things that they know that they can have success with. Good job of balance within this offense here in the last few drives. From the 39, Anderson. A little where to go. And brought down. A couple of times tonight he's been brought down. Jeff Cowher, who had three sacks last year. And an unsportsmanlike conduct flag after the play on BYU. Yeah. You saw it? Cowart made a sack. And, and, and if we're going to call this, anybody who's out there... Dead ball. Unsportsmanlike conduct on the defense. 15 yards. Anybody who is automatic. out there that is an official in college football, let's be consistent. Here we are early in the year. If you're going to call it, that's fine. Cowart makes the sack. You're trying to tell me that we don't see things worse than this when we watch Florida or Florida State. I mean, that's what he did. He pounded on his chest a little bit, looked around. That's 15 yards. Now, if we're going to call it, let's call it every time and be consistent so these players have an idea what's right and what's wrong. Point of emphasis this year in officiating. Buff Belton had that carry. Okay, Nothing drives me <laughs> crazy when you watch a game and you see it called, and yeah. then you watch another game on Saturday and you and you don't right. see it called. Now, now you understand how I feel on fourth and one. Yeah, and okay. All that other stuff. I got you. Now you got it. I now got you. you got the fact when it comes with it. See? You know it's interesting on, on, on the unsportsmanlike conduct issue. We've seen guys high step into yeah. the end zone. No more. In the rule book this year, it says it doesn't say the word high step, but if you change your gait running into the end, that's an automatic flag. They tried to be more specific about it. We're taking away everything, aren't we? All right. And we'll see robots the ball. out pretty soon. Loads up late over the middle, nearly intercepted. Aaron Francisco's been there a couple of times with a shot at it. We, are we going for the robot look from the players? Is that, is that what you want? Take away the emotion. What makes college football unique? Emotion, passion, energy. We're trying to take that away from the players. What they're trying to take away from the players is that putting more well, attention on sure. themselves. Well, they, when they go over I the say line, nothing, and that's when why they that go over the line and they get crazy, that's fine. But that's, that's, right, that take it. Well, that's why it was a flag because he called attention to himself. Thank that's you fine. very much. Right. I agree with you. I agree with both of you. Yeah, so when, when a guy does a, he catches a five yard out and he does a dance, that's one thing. Third and seven. Quick shot. Broken up. Good coverage by Brandon Haney, who left the game earlier. Bothered by his shoulder, so BYU's defense doing what it couldn't do last year. Yeah. Standing up in a spot where momentum was going against him. Now Coward can uh, enjoy a laugh over it. Athletically coverage he's been giving the cushion all night this time he gives the cushion to Christensen missed the tackle touchdown BYU and they have been attacking Oliver all night Lee. well the problem they have right now is that they're trying to do his open field tackles and they're not breaking down what you got to do to make an open field tackle is not lunge at the guy and hit him hard just kind of grab him and pull him down with you that's why they're missing the tackles Kirk they're being too aggressive in the open field and Brett Engman has led some fabulous scoring drives tonight. Mm -hmm. 71, 80, 99, 92, and this seven game is leading. Syracuse has not made many in key spots. Three of 11 tonight. BYU has been fabulous. 11 of 16, wow. eight yards. You know, it didn't matter the distance, and those have been momentum-changing plays. They kept these big drives alive. Just don't dance, good Jeff. Just don't dance. Well, Jeff Coward, number 94, is, is the only senior on a whole defensive football team and watching the lineman. Watch him. As he goes back, he spells the screen, and he just kind of drips over. Now, if I'm not mistaken, watch him come in there now. And he reads the screen right there. He doesn't follow because there's a bad block by the tackle and it just reaches up and makes a great catch. Kirk, one thing about this guy, 
he was a tackle last year and didn't play well, so they moved them out to a natural position of an end, and he, that's nice hands. What a curtain like soft hands. Nice hands. R.J. Anderson, as a quarterback, has to sell it a little bit better. He, he hit his fifth step, and then he just started to fade, and I think by fading, he tipped his hand and showed that it was going to be a screen, and that, instead yeah. of Coward chasing him, he, right away, he got his head on his foot when he looked up the back, and he found it. Hit back, made a nice catch. Now BYU's looking to cash in again. Knockout punch time. Engelman wants it. Looks for it. Incomplete. A lot of holding down there with Spencer Need. Uh, BYU fans who were looking for a flag had it right there. Coward, who made the INT, former walk-on, started as a tight end when he uh, came here. So <laughs> the hands and that look of a run there. Yeah. Wasn't he the same guy that got that individual yeah, penalty by putting don't, his breast? That's why I said, don't dance. Yeah, don't that's, dance. that's, that's, that's a good point. Remember that red hair. That's how I remember to go over the sideline, red hair. <laughs> There's the number. There's red hair. Get the number. Wayland. Back in zone.